All right. Again, Borders War 6, I welcome all the new signups. It takes a special kind of person to step into this ring, ladies and gentlemen, all right? And um, even though this is not the, the, the pros, you got to understand that what you're doing is... What you're doing is, it's a great thing, it's a great accomplishment, because just stepping in here is a great deal. And those of us who are in the boxing community understand this. Uh, initially, you know, we started this up, and it still is the purpose of, you know, getting in shape, getting kind of uh, uh, in the shoes of these professional fighters, you know, uh, the things that they go through, all the way through the promotion, through the back shit talking, you know, and I into the fight. So, you guys have experienced this. I'm pretty sure all of you trained, prepared yourselves for this fight. Everybody's been matched up accordingly. We do follow amateur boxing rules here, always with the safety of the fighters in mind. Semi-pro, too. Semi-pro. Right. So uh, let's fight hard. Let's fight clean. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Border War 6. Yo, I'm stuffing my face for those that don't know. I had to get me some donkey. Um, it's been a long morning, without a doubt, it's been a long morning. Um, you know, uh, sometimes you just think you're going to get everything. Match up, okay? This guy's, it's this Mr. Guy's Robert Cable Klein! Hey, 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 somebody need to tell Doomy not to yell into the mic, it's a microphone. Exactly, and Doomy needs to also play into the camera. You know, there is an audience of millions watching other than in here. All right, and he will be taking on Greg the Hunter Morgan. Greg, Doom, play the Greg camera. Morgan. Talk, the camera. Talk to that camera, Dooms. Okay. Greg Morgan is fighting. Oh man, who who looks nervous? They they both first time fighters. They are opening Border Wars number six. Oh, we're, we're in the ring with them. We got Doomsday playing a part. We see Greg in the blue corner. And uh, Greg, uh, Greg, who looks nervous to you, man? I mean, they, they both look the same. Rob the genius, he got a deep stretch in in the red corner, and uh, he mentioned being having the jitters his first fight. I mean, it, it's his first fight. You, you're going to have some, some sort of jitters, don't you think? I agree with you. You know, maybe the jitters are excitement, and um, we might have an exciting fight. I hope. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for some excitement, man. Let's put, the, let's put the camera on us, man, as we wait for these two men to get ready for battle. Um, so just a little lineup. We got Coach Mitty flying all the way in from the U.K. Obviously, Mike, hey, uh, champ, that's what you got a mic for. That's what you got a mic for. Everything is through the mic. So, yeah, man, we got Coach Mitty flying in all the way from the U.K. Uh, also from the U.K., we got uh, Real Chick Naja, who's also going to be a judge, second time returning. And now we're going to the ring. Mitty, tell him to talk to the cameras. We're going to the ring with Doomsday. Doomsday, bring us back. Your first fight. I know my right, first Border fighter, War fight, I had jitters. I call it your Definitely. corner. And Here we go. We're, it, in, the we're in the ring. We're in the ring. We're in the ring. The Hunter Morgan, please step up to the line. Robert, the cable, climb, please step up. Now you these, guys understand, these, these I went over look, the rules with you guys. These men look evenly matched. They do look evenly matched. Two white guys, too. Two white guys. <laughs> oh, Greg took his deep breath in. Rob, uh -oh. that is. The genius uh -oh. took a deep breath. Greg looks a little more relaxed, if you ask me, Greg Morgan. Do you think? He looks a little more relaxed. Well, we'll see. Um, the stillness of Rob, the genius, is a sign of, you know, he's not going to start loose. He doesn't. He may not be loose. I think he has more... The stillness. More experience. Two-minute rounds. Nice gloves by Morgan. Morgan with the ringside gray gloves. Did we double-check those are all 16s in the ring? Mm-mm-mm. Amateurs. Hit the on clock is at the top, champ. The top. On at the top. On. Border War 6 begins with Greg Morgan versus Rob the Genius. The jab thrown... Greg Morgan. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh hold up. Body shots. What? What's oh, going on? I, I don't know. Oh, is that a, that's the white thing, right? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. He <laughs> want to feel it. He want to feel the power. I think he had no, no power behind those punches. Oh, oh holding? Shit. Was that a hold behind the head? I don't know. The ref's got to get on that, though. Rob the Genius is looking loose. Yeah, I, I he, thought... he, he's definitely looking experienced, um, but, or at least uh, the more calm. Calm, more excited. Greg Morgan. Oh, Southpaw stance. I didn't know that. He switched up? No. I, I, I didn't notice sure. it either. Training and 
Whoa. Greg Morgan came. Oh, jabs. Whoa, body shots. Oh. Okay, Rob the Genius is looking see, like a little bit of Jose. I want to see him use the jab. I want to see him use the jab just a little he, bit. He did a little bit of that Jose shuffle. I wonder what the judges are looking at right now. If they're going towards Rob the Genius. Oh, those body shots are not effective at all. I don't know. I, I don't know. That was a big body shot. He just took a big, big breath right there. Oh, did he? Yes. Oh, well, he showed no pain. Mm, good left hook. Good look. Oh, okay. These dudes are experienced. Um, Rob's going to have to do a better job clinching because when Gore, Greg is working in the clinch, he's being effective. But I see Greg a little tired now. I need Robert to jump on this and uh, take advantage of the of the exhaustion this from Greg. Only the first Good jab. Round. Good jab. Well, Rob also looks like he slowed down a little. Oh, body shots from Greg. Well, yeah, his mouth is open. He's exhaling. He's blowing. I know what that feels like. His punches are now slower. He need to pop them. Eight seconds on the clock. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Rob the genius and Greg Morgan in the books. In the books. Round one, Border War six. I, I got I, I think I gave that to... I think I gave that to the genius that, that round. Um, he held punches and he... Threw a lot of punches. Landed cleanly, too. Uh, I, I didn't like that he was letting Greg uh, work in the clinch. In the clinch. He we gave did see up that. a lot of body shots. Then he did the white boy yell. The so, hop. That's the white boy warrior yell. What's I wrong just with that? No, it's the same thing like a Mexican yeah, yell. I mean, hey, thing. everybody has one. Um, my thing is... What did the judges think about that? Did they use that as a as an opportunity to say, "Oh, he was hurt, and that's what the yell came from"? Nah, because he did that without a punch landing in the beginning. He, yeah, he okay. let out his warrior yell. Maybe that's his way of getting. Corners, get your fighters ready. Ten seconds. Hyped up. Ten seconds. I, I I have the cable guy ahead. The cable guy. Yeah. Rob the genius. The that ring. is. We're in the ring. Rob the genius using the ring to his advantage. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, oh, good. Okay. Oh, good combination by Rob the genius. Greg may feel like he's behind the cards. Oh, he stepped up on the gas. Okay. Oh, he turned his back. That's a knockdown. Oh. oh. Come on. Oh, that could have been a knockdown. Greg turned his back. It could have. That's up to the referee. Discretion. Here we go. Is there blood coming out of there is, Greg there is Morgan's some nose? Blood. There is some blood. I wonder if that's going to give uh, the, the genius a little bit of confidence. Oh, it's dripping. It's oh. leaking. It's leaking. He, has he, has he leak. ever felt that before? Is that the oh. first leak we see? Oh, good right hand by Robert the genius. Has Greg Morgan let it all out and out of gas in the tank? He it still has like, a minute. Oh, left. good right hand. There could be a knocker. Let's there go, could Robert. be a stoppage. Robert has to jump on these opportunities. He, he's being given opportunities to take this fight and run with it. Well, he is a genius. Let's see what he has up his sleeve. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, there you go. Oh, he hit him with that chakra headshot. Oh, there's blood. The referee is checking on him. He said he's good. Greg Morgan says he's good. His mouth is open. There is blood. This is the first blood fight wow. in Pool good, Wars. Good parrying by Robert. Body see, shot, see? But he's giving up all those shots on the inside. That's oh, where he's got to work. Oh, okay, Rob the genius has exhaled. I think he's out of fuel. You think? Morgan has to step up. Greg Morgan, step up! Oh, Morgan is, with the body shot. This is an unusual pace, but a little... Ooh. Cable guy is doing that. Oh, Rob the genius. Good the right guy. hand by Robert. Robert, Tired. Robert, feeling a little exhaustion now. He, said, he looked at the clock, man. I think Greg Morgan has. Oh, oh! oh! he wants to steal the Big round. Shot. One second left. Big I shot. I hope they have a towel in Greg Morgan's Whoa. corner. Whoa. Yo, hey, listen. I think he's doing the Sugar Ray Leonard, bro. He's waiting like the last couple of seconds of the round, stealing it and stealing it big. I mean, look at Greg Morgan's girlfriend. She just exhaled. Oh, we need a camera on that. What, she is nervous. Do we, have, do we have that view? Let me see Anthony view. Anthony view. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's her in the brown. She's a bit nervous. She's leaning side to side. Yeah. Which when, is once like, they start doing the sway, the sway. there's a lot of thinking going on. There's thinking going on. She's like, okay, it's just two more minutes left. Mm -hmm. He's all right. He doesn't look nervous. It is only two more minutes. It's only a six-minute fi six fight. Six-minute fight. But Gregory Morgan, he is a Army vet or Marines? 
Navy. 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 Wow, he, he's, he's leaking over there. He's leaking. He may step up now. You know, he Robert did initiate G the fight the first round, the second round. Yeah, I mean, he came out full throttle, but then uh, a couple of right hands fixed him up. But you know that Robert, uh, the genius, is a former host, man. I guess he felt like people know him, social media. He's got to step up. He's got to come off with the win. His first Border Wars fight. So far, oh, look. Oh, oh, taunting happening. Is he taunting? Oh. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh there you go, shit. genius. Greg Morgan. Oh, what the fuck? Why did they break it? I don't know. Is that a knockdown? A knockdown? Oh. Low oh, blow, low, low, low so blow. So the clock stops. What, he got hit on the shin? Yeah, he gets five. <laughs> he gets up to five minutes. Oh, he didn't take the five minutes. A minute 24 for on the clock. He was good. That was the shin. That wasn't below the belt. I, it doesn't even look like he had. Wait a minute. Neither of them have body. Oh, 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 he's oh, in. Hey, oh, hey, oh, that oh, was like nine back. punches. He turned his back. That's a knockdown. Yo, the referee didn't call a knockdown. I don't know. The this referee, referee didn't call a knockdown. Paul, but he's not playing I, I Paul. I know. I don't know, he's man. He's not playing I don't Paul. Know. He's not. Come on. I, wow! I, right now, Rob the Genius is in. Rob has got him. He's, he's gonna he's have. Got he's him. got a W in his book. Oh, Ooh. good body. Oh, 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 oh! Where are we? Where are we? Greg Morgan. He's still active, but does he have the power to stop? He's behind. He's way behind. He has to stop. If that was a knockdown and not a stoppage because of the hit below the belt, that would have made seconds. things even. 30 seconds left in our first fight. 30 seconds left. And right now it looks like Rob the Genius has the... Whoa! Oh! What was that? What the fuck? Is that a that, count? That Is was that a, a stop? I missed That was what an happened. amazing two-piece combination. It was like a two-piece uppercut left hook or left hook uppercut. Whoa. Whoa. I missed that one. No, sheesh. Well, four seconds... And the hands are up. Oh, good it's fight. Over. It's over. Great I, fight. I, I, Rob the Genius, hands down, unanimous decision, I'm sure, yeah. is the score. Should be. Or Should the be. results, rather. Yo, so this fight took place at 180. 180. Uh, five pounds north of that is the fight that's going to have two belts on the line. You know, we'll be having... Anthony Edwards versus Marvin the Tank Furman, and that's going to be for the WBA Super and the WBC 185-pound uh, title. Right. Do you think that Robert the Genius is ready to move up, or would you like to see him with another? I mean, he his his goals are to move to 160. Well, he looked good fighting against uh, uh, Greg Morgan, but I don't I don't know if he's ready for the caliber to fight championship yet. You he's know, not championship level. I mean, this is yet. his first fight. You that know is what his mean? first he's fight. And he, his... he looked really good, though. I, I wasn't did. expecting that. And, and you know, look, he, he, he dipped his toe. Mm -hmm. He took this fight on short notice. I don't know if you know. I don't know. Yes, he took this fight on short notice. Um, you know, Gregory's opponent pulled out, and he filled in. This he... was like a three, four day ago filling. Mm, mm, yeah, mm. so, you know, his optimal... Where's he from? He's uh, from the Camden, New Jersey area. Okay, so he traveled not yeah, that far. Not that far. Came in, but he landed punches. He knows how to punch. That's definitely Shout out thing. to Patreon. $3. Thank you for the cup of coffee. Yeah, um, but y'all should have Patreon me for this Perrier. I came out of pocket, but it's all good. I mean, tell him. We don't do pay, pay, uh What is it? Perrier. We don't even know what that is. Let's Sparkling go. water. Let's give y'all some shots in the, in the ring. I mean, uh, this is just some behind the scenes. It looks like they're uh, getting the... The scores tally. Fighters in the ring. Fighters in the Looks ring. Looks like the scores are being tallied Fighters right in the ring now. And play and, that camera. Um, Do me. Play that camera, Do me. All right. So we're waiting for the results. Towards that camera, though. Yeah, come right here. All right. Congratulations so, to you. Both of you are right. Good fight. All right, you Good stepped fight. in, but now it's time to announce the winners. You go ahead and look towards the camera, gentlemen. Hold on one second. All right. I, I, I give it all the way to Rob the Genius. Got Robert the Genius right here. Robert trying to get his selfie like Pacquiao. Selfie on. Oh, it's man, you know right he's going to post. All right, Esther. I mean, I don't know about you I'm guys. I'm very proud of Robert. That was a battle. I'm very proud. Fight. 
Give him a round of applause. We're gonna read the scores now. Okay? Very proud. The judges had it for Greg. This is not the winner. I'm gonna read the rounds, all right? Greg, Greg Morgan, 29. 28. Ooh. 29, 28. Yes. Wow. Greg Morgan's first round. 28 for that the first close. round. Ooh. That was close. Second round. Okay. All right. 29, 27 for Robert the Genius. Ooh. That, that's how it should be because it was a knockout. 29, 27 for the winner fighting out of the red corner, Robert the Genius. Ooh. We Whoa. expected that. Yo, who gave... Who gave a 28-29? First round. I, I just want to say how proud I am. Come on in. I just want to say how proud I am of Robert. You know what I mean? Short notice like that, stepping in, challenging himself, taking the fight. Um, that was that 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 that's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he said he made that choice after listening to one of the shows, and and, and it was like you know daring to be great. Cut the camera to us, and and right here we have Robert the Genius. Explain the Cable Guy shirt first of all. It's not hey, Ness, can you hear me? Sorry, can I get Loud a photo? and clear. Can I get a photo with the champ? Can I get a photo with the champ right here? Winner circle. Come on, bring your chair a little more closer. Get okay, closer. Cool. Get closer to us. We need you to get nice and sweaty. Yes, sir. You want to look into the cam? There you go. There you go. There, there you go. go. There you go. So, so you're on. Robert, you can, yes, you can you use those headphones so you can hear us clearly. I'm good. I'm good. You're good? Yeah, you're sweaty. All right. um, so what? basically, man, I just want to say first and foremost, super proud of you because um, that's my pardon, boy. Pardon the left first and foremost. Congratulations. Like, you stepped in, I don't know, 10, 7 days short notice. Five. Look at that. Dared to be great. Um, look great. A dude that you didn't know, and then you went in there and looked great. You got blood. Whoa. Anytime you can get blood out of somebody, you're doing good things, and you got a knockdown. And that was the first time we witnessed blood at Border Wars, right? Uh, I don't know if the first uh, time. No, one of the Canadians yeah, probably yeah. were bleeding. But this one was profusely. But it's my left. I also, before, <laughs> before I pass it to you, I just want the, 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 the viewing public to know that this is not your division. You want to fight at 160. You're just fighting to get to 160, which is exactly what I preach. So I love it, man. You, you, first fight, you opened it up great, and you look great. How you feeling? I, I feel amazing to actually do this and with all this stuff. It's like a real fight to be in there and get my hand raised. It's amazing. And uh, I just want to say to people who are thinking about doing this, it is super scary. But once you do it, once it's done, it's a feeling of accomplishment. I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it. I'm happy I did this in my life because I'm 35. And it's just great, great experience. How did it feel before the first round rang? How, were you jittery? Uh, what was it? Yeah, yeah. So I was super nervous, not scared, even though I didn't see any tape on him. I was just anxious. I got lucky today, and I fought first, which is like, I just wanted to get it over with. Now I can just enjoy the fights. But yeah. I was scared. I was nervous. Did Shit. He, did he have any pop? Because in that second round, it looked like he knew he was down. He came out to get you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but when I spar, I bite hard on my mouthpiece so my bell doesn't get rung too hard. But yeah, he rocked me. And he hit me in the body a couple times. I try not to show... I, that it hurt. He didn't get me in the solo plex, but, uh, you know, it's, it feels like you're being stabbed. It fucking sucks. Yo, I <laughs> did see that, though. I'm he like, yo, I, he did the Peter Quillen, where Peter Quillen let Jay Leon Love get all those shots on him. I'm like, why is Rob doing that? Were you just testing his power? Yes. Oh. Okay. And, I, and I was real close, so he couldn't fully cock back or get the crazy extension, so it was like... Plus, we were kind of wrestling, and I was feeling that, too, not just his punches. I was seeing if uh, if he could outman me because he's a bigger dude than me. Elaborate on that yell that you were letting out. Yes, we were that, calling that we, the white boy warrior yeah, yell. Yeah, we associated it with Brandon Rios in the Mexican warrior call. <laughs> all right, so uh, shout-outs to D-Boy's no boxing. No disrespect saying white boy. That's all right. <laughs> I, I am a white boy. <laughs> I'm the white boy. So, <laughs> shout-outs to D-Boy's boxing in Clementon. That's my gym when I spar. It's just something that I always do. It gets me pumped. I keep it light. You, you know, I'm still having fun, but... You know, it's like kind of flipping a switch. You know yes. what I mean? I'm, I'm trying to do it because I feel like he's going to hurt me. You know what I mean? So fucking get there, warrior mode. What was the worst thing about today in the ring, though? Well, uh, uh, I got two answers for that. The worst thing about today was the nerves. I mean, that was just, it's something to get over, but it'll make you stronger. You overcame it. And uh, the worst part in the ring, uh, nothing. I had good cornermen, Mozzie, Fern, Colin, and they were giving me good advice. And even when they weren't giving me advice, they were just keeping me cool and relaxed, and uh, that's important. When you so, saw the blood, were you excited? Uh, yeah, but, but I didn't know if that was going to flip his switch, and he was just going to go animal mode. Smart. Smart. 
All right. So, uh, but yeah, I, I liked it. I liked Hate that. Hate to he cut blood. you short, champ. We got some no other doubt. fights on the docket, cut man. Uh, I do want to tell you. Right Ness, now, can baby. I just say one more thing? Go sure. ahead, man. I just want to give a shout out to my boy, Nestor Gibbs. We have, we're have we friends outside of Boxing Voice. Yes, we're yes, Boxing definitely. Voice OGs. And, you know, he was part of all this for me, too. And I just want to say thanks, Ness. Pardon the left, brother. Appreciate That's you for right. coming out, man. Congratulations uh, on your win. Definitely man. happy um, that you got the win. I hope to see you. I hope you're scouting after this. Yes, <laughs> yes. A lot of food out here, man. A lot of food on these streets. A lot of food in 160 pounds. All right, so next up we have... I got to watch it through here. Because it's a little... It's delayed. Yeah, it's a delay. Yes, yes. That's the intermission right there, man. Y'all uh, picked me up on um, Enrique on it. Y'all picked me up on Enrique Mike, man. He ain't turned his down. But uh, that was our interview with Robert Klein. Um, we're waiting for our second fight, and we're ready to get this thing started. Um, we got 21 minutes rolling. What's going on, fellas? Where's the next fight? Who's ready? I'm ready to see some heavyweight action. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, we really got to get this thing going. Southside Deucey's out at six. I mean, you could easily not be main event, give up that main event status. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I know, we're trying to get y'all going. This referee, the referee doing too much. Referee doing too much. Referee doing too much. Peep. Grab your mic. Let's go. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're getting ready for our second fight. We got our ring announcer slash referee in the ring right now. Of this Border Wars series, okay. We're going to be calling out the A side Second right fight now. Is up. Dr. Fight. Mofongo fighting out of Washington Heights. Uh -oh. Dr. Mofongo, who is experienced? Is experienced. He's 1 and 0. And he's a heavyweight, and he also did pretty well, surprisingly, against Santiago, who's another experienced fighter. Definitely. Santiago comes into this fight. All right, uh, we're going to be uh, the experienced his, fighter. Uh, but opponent, uh, I'm going to be honest. Right? He's fighting out of uh He's Las not fighting Vegas. something out. You got me all confused. Uh, no, 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 no. He's fighting out of Eddie Bola Eddie Bola Eddie Bola fight. Oh, that's his, that's this is his opponent. This is the fight I've been wanting to see. This oh, is a shit. fight. He went under the second row. Heavyweight division, baby. Ooh, Bola heavyweight Grasa division. looking loose. Chubby right, weight fighters, division. I call you to the center of the rings, please step forward. Dr. Mofongo fighting out of the right corner. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, it's going down. The nerves. The anxiety. Oh, what nerves? Out of the blue corner. No, now it's right, time to let it all out in the ring. Three right. rounds are in effect. Okay. Two don't minute rounds. Head. Don't take more than six hand answer punches because I will step huh? in for you, okay? If I feel like you took a shot too hard, I will step in to check on you, okay? It'll be my decision whether I give you the eight count or not, all right? You guys ready to fight? Mm -hmm. Touch gloves. Fight hard, fight clean. Yo. Alex. What's up with the referee, What's though? What's up with the referee, What's, man? Yo, the referee is the like... The referee need a fight. The referee I think he wants the cameras on him. I think that's what it's about. Oh. He, yeah. Oh, so he on some... Uh, oh, shit. Hold on. What's up with this camera? It fell, it looks like. Oh, man. You got that. You got that. You need some tape. Get some tape. All right, so we got Dr. Mofongo is 44 years old from New York City, Long Island, taking on Eddie Bola de Grasa from Las Vegas. Oh, man. So this, th these are things that happen in an amateur fight. You Ooh. know? The bell. The, Everybody's excited. They They're responded excited. off the bell. They're excited. Uh-oh. I, I like the audience on this Border Wars right yes, now. Yes, yes. It looks pretty... Pretty exciting. The electricity is in the air. And, and the corners are split, man. We got brothers both cornering opposite opponents. 
So Joseph Rodriguez is with Dr. Mofongo and Matt Garcis Rodriguez is with Eddie Bola de Grasa. We got round one. It is action. We are in the ring. And this is the heavyweight division, okay. a.k.a. the chubby weight division. Now we chubby got weight. Dr. Mofongo, the 44. Oh, Ooh, good double oh, jab oh, by man. Eddie. We got an Andy Ruiz in there. Oh, Ooh, good, good double fakes. jab by Eddie. Oh, oh. he's He's oh, at, at, oh, he's in there, Eddie man. is skilled. Oh, Eddie, oh, the swag turned on now. Wow. You see that? Wow. <laughs> Mofongo is trying to keep his composure, and it's working. I hope he has a plan B. You know, everybody has a plan to get punched in the face, and uh, that looks like what is Eddie's going doing on. well jabbing. Let's see if he's, he's going to be able to get the shot stamina. By Mofongo. I'm worried about Eddie's stamina, and can he... You know, is he going to be able to I, keep I, that stamina? I had a, a conversation with, with Bola de Grasa, and he did mention oh, his stamina. Good. I like that up and down jab. He painted the fence with that one. Who, who's that? Um, Eddie. Eddie. Oh, good right hand as well. Eddie's in there, man. He's in the fight, and so is Mofongo. I think right now Eddie's controlling the fight. He's definitely controlling and the fight. Mofongo. Oh, good one, too, by Eddie. Uh, Ooh, that good weight, body shot that by weight, Mofongo. Well, Bola de Grasa is using the Grasa to his advantage. Yeah, I like the uppercut Ooh. by Mofongo on the inside to the body. Um, I would like to see Mofongo kind of jab. Oh, body, good body shot, shot by Mofongo. That's he got to do a lot more. I of would that. like to see uh, Mofongo shoot that jab to the body, keep Eddie at bay. He's in the corner, and that jab that oh over the top and a hook, good punching. 29 seconds on oh, the clock. Mofongo with the body work. Mofongo with the body work. Mofongo staying in. I think he's, he's very composed. Yeah, he switched to his plan B, it looks like. Very composed. Oh, he there shot that powerful right hand and he missed. Wow. Body oh! shot. Oh, good one. Mofongo Big making right a comeback the body. in the Big first right round. Hand. Wow. Wow, that might have won him the round, champ. That might have been it right there. He may be hurt. You I, he's holding it. Ooh, Whoa. good first round. That's a hard round to judge. Uh, man, listen. I think Mofongo. I'm giving, I'm giving that to Mofongo. I think Mofongo stole that one. Well, word is born, though. You know what? You're right. You got to be fair. Eddie started out really good in the beginning of that round. Yeah. He painted the fence with the jab up and down. I didn't see any right hands, though. Did you see any big right I hands see land? Any, I didn't see any big right I hands land. I did see one, one, two, but it wasn't as strong as any of those body shots that uh, Mofongo's landing. I would say, though, he was the most active one in there. But Mofongo stopped it. So let's see if he neutralized You're it. right. You're right. Mofongo Eddie was may active. Have, Mofongo may have looked good toward, towards the end. But Eddie, uh, at Bola de Grasa, did a lot more work. Mm. So both men still in the corner. And uh, we're just waiting, man. Mofongo is going to have to do where he, just, where he left off. He's got to pick up. I want to see the stab jab, man. He's got to keep Eddie away. With the jab, but and he may have to raise the pace a little bit. Use that gas tank. Have, maybe, that, have Eddie use that gas. Maybe he's saving it for the third round. But we are in the second round, round two of the heavyweight division. Eddie, La Bola de Grasa from Las Vegas taking on Doctor Mofongo, the Dominican from Long Island. Right now, looks like Mofongo has Eddie on the back foot. Eddie definitely uh, with his back on the ropes. Um, but, but, he's but he's doing well. He's, he's doing moving. well. Oh. He's feeling like a fighter yeah, for sure. he's feeling himself. He feel, yeah. He's light on his toes. He's light on his toes. Definitely feeling himself. He's confident. Mofongo needs to take that confidence away with a big right hand. To the body. Um, he's not targeting the body when he should be. Eddie can't move that body. There you Good go. body shot. Right at, as soon as we speak, Ooh. Mofongo gives us what we need. Surprisingly, uh, that uh, Bola de Grasa. Oh, body shot and a return to the head by the Bola de Grasa. Bola de Grasa is, a, is, is, is very light on his feet considering yes. his weight. You know? Definitely, man. If, if he says Good his defense. issue is eating, bro. He says he can work out. He puts in the work. It's just going back home and eating, man. The discipline yes, is needed the discipline in, in the Ooh, kitchen. body shot and head shot. Oh, good body shot by Mofongo. Right here is where Mofongo has to go. Oh, Let loose. Oh, there you go. Oh. He's going for it. He's going for it. It's a good fight, man. Some good fights in Border Wars 6 so far. He went for it. He had Eddie on the ropes. He went for it. Could that have been enough to steal it from the judge? Good parry by Mofongo. Kind of put his head down, but at least he blocked that shot. I would say the last 30 seconds, Mofongo has to go to work, and this he will win this match, round. This is a perfectly matched fight, let me tell you. Um, they both have the same amount of stamina. It's uh, it's a good fight. I don't know. Now it looks like uh, Bola de Grasa has his mouth open. 
He does, but he, he's still he there. He started with it closed. Oh, oh, he ran Mofungo. out of gas. It looks Mofungo like Mofungo is chasing him down. He wants this win. Oh, he spit the mouthpiece out Uh-oh. intentionally, probably. Was that Eddie? That was it Eddie. It was Eddie. He's tired. He's ran out of gas. He's running on fuel mm. fumes. Listen, Mofungo well, well, won that round. It's a one-one fight. Definitely, he put more work in, and he definitely. You know what he did? This was an investment round. Um, he saved he, the bag. He worked in the body, and, and, and everything that he did this round, plus the first, mm-hmm. is going to show on Eddie's body in the third. His body language, you mean? Fix that so it doesn't tip, o- tip over. Uh, yeah. There you, go. there you go. So, yeah, man, I am very pleased with what we're seeing. This is the heavyweight division. You know what I'm not seeing? Also, no, the chubby weight division? What I'm not seeing, and I'm going to just be honest, that's why I brought my belt, man. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the IBF champ, and I just don't see someone that the public isn't going to say. You cherry pick. Exactly. Nah, I think um, the no Border Wars 6, the experienced fighters haven't really showed up. Yeah. They're, they're later, and they're, they're not in your weight class. Yeah, man, um, which just sucks, man. Uh, you know, look at Dr. Mofongo at age 44 getting it in, enjoying himself, man. That's what it's about. Robert Klein was 35, you know, and he was doing his Okay, week, the fight around. Round. Eddie Bola de Grasa with the Reebok. We got Dr. Mofongo with the Adidas. Adidas. They're both wearing all black, one with red headgear, the other red gloves. Who's going to get Ooh, some red shot the body? Oh, good two-piece body shot by Mofongo. Mofongo's composure is still there, it's and still his there. stamina is still there, and it still has pop. Eddie yes. is oh. Bola de Grasa is you know, moving back. I'm going to tell you what I don't like. still has that power as well. I'm going to tell you what I don't like about Mofongo is that. You see how he's... Up and down with the with the with the hands. You can time that. You can time that. They they right. see him swaying. You know, it's like nervous energy there. You're wasting energy oh, unnecessarily. Perry. Good blockage. Nothing happened there. That body oh. is oh, good right hand by Eddie, but he just ain't got enough stamina, bro. He can't keep Mofongo off of him. I'm telling you. See, Eddie's so big that he could knock down Mofongo. Still, if if you ask me, he's he's got to use his weight more like he did in the first round. We got it. What? We got a minute left. He's got to time up, use his weight, throw some punches. Mofongo got to let those right hands go more, man. I mean, we've got 30 seconds left. Maybe he's got to th- let these I right think, hands go. I think Mofongo thinks he has it in the bag. I think Mofongo needs to counter the jab with the right over the top. See, right over that top. Because Eddie's Overhand not doing right. anything. There you go. Overhand right. That was he's blocked. got to wait for that jab to pop out and go over top of that right, that left jab, and, 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 and clean this guy's clock. Oh! oh this is he determining. Did he did it! This is a determining round. and he not fucking listening, bro. They listening. They listening. That was beautiful. This that, is that the determining stole the round. round. That could have stole the round. For the winner. Because it is a 1-1. One, one. That probably did it right there. It is a 1-1. One, one. We get a, get a fight going. Let, oh, there you go, Mofongo. Lands that right hand. A short one to the face. Oh. oh. Mofongo needs to, Mofongo got 10 seconds. Is he going to lose this? Oh, oh another, another one. Right oh. oh. Andy Ruiz. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. Damn, wow. that, that could possibly be a draw. If not a draw, it is Bruh. definitely a Mofongo's win. Yo, Dr. Mofongo stays in fight of the nights. Like last time, him and Santiago was fighting the night. And right now, we looking very excited about this final round. I mean, I don't know. Did that steal so far, fight of the night, out of the two? Let's, I mean, it's out of the two, yes. Oh, you think this was more exciting than the No, fight? this one actually slowed down in the third round. It was a very cautious fight, mm. cautious round. Um, okay. I think either both of them thought they had it in the bag, and then, you know, uh, Eddie got very cautious. Mm. Who's next on the docket? Next on the docket, fight number three, Ricky Swift Davis. Ooh, high level. Versus Darnell Fernandez. I'll fight anyone, Fernandez. Oh, oh wow. He I'll came, fight. He came like Canelo with the little... With, oh, okay, I seen but those But he dudes. got the Fernandez. Fernandez. I, I, seen, I seen those dudes step in. Mm-hmm. Uh, they came in style, jumped out of Uber or something. Yeah. They were dropped off. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, with the headbands on, looking like they were arriving at the Barclays Center. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ready for the big fight, Ready man. for the big fight. All right, looks like we got our referee. Uh, he's having some talks with the, uh, with the judges. Judge. Looks like we got a final decision. I don't know, man. I think right. I think uh, Mofongo took it, fight number two. Definitely think Mofongo took it. Uh, the sad part is that I believe Eddie, 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 
I believe Eddie could have done better. He could have done better. He did good. He, I think he put in his best, and he got a feel for what it is to be in the ring. And... There you go. Right. Use the line, uh, referee. There right, you go, guys. ref. Let's give him a round of applause, first of all. Yes. Round of applause. A good heavyweight bout, but there can be only one. All right? I'm going to read out the judges' scoring. Can we get a horn after the announcement? Judge I'm, number I mean, one, 29, 28. Excuse me. <laughs> nah, that ain't no 29, 29. Draw. Ooh. Oh, oh. Great. Third round. I told you Judge to turn it around. Judge number two, 29. 29. No. Draw. No. Judge number three, 27, 30. Bola de grasa. What? Looks like we have a draw. No. Oh. Majority draw. Majority draw. What? That, that's possible. I can see that happening. I thought, I thought, I thought that Mofongo won. I thought Mofongo won, I man. said I, I could see the draw or Mofongo I won. I can't see the draw, man. Who's next? Who's next on the docket? Next on the docket. Next on the docket. What's up with that? What happened? Nah, somebody probably about to fight. Looks like... Uh, no, no, no. Is it next? No, it's number three. Fight number three. Ricky, Ricky. Yeah. Ricky Swift. No, that's number five. No, it's Colin versus Boxing Therapy. Uh-oh. Colin versus Boxing Therapy going down. Oh, shit. Colin is... The white boy. He, Colin the Destroyer. He fought... No, he didn't fight JD. Nah. All right. That was Lauren. Lauren for um, JD. But the thing with Colin is he's fighting Boxing Therapy. And what does that mean? He's here with his father. Oh. He's here with his father. Let's see, can we get his father on cam right over there? Let's see. That's his father walking with the bucket. There he goes. Oh. He's walking with okay. the bucket. His father is in his corner. Is in his corner. This is a, that's a good one, man. I mean, it, it, hey, listen, morally it's good. Your dad's there, but... Um, Who signed him up, his dad or he signed himself up? I think he signed himself up. Okay. I think he signed himself up, but, it, you know, he's in there with his dad. and um, It's a big fight. I mean, it's your first fight, so it's always your big fight. Well, Every fight is your big fight. No, I mean his opponent, Colin. Is a big fighter. Is a big fighter. He's experienced. I don't know if he's experienced. He frequents. In gym? In the sparring culture. I mean, that's what we got a ref for, man. Okay. <laughs> no, the ref is to stop the fight? Was that what he's saying? I With mean, the dad in the corner? I mean, he's got he's to he's take care of him. He's got to make sure he's good. Oh man! So what's going on? Who's I don't know. Who's why, gonna, why, what's why the hold up? What's the hold up? Three o'clock. What's the hold up? Colin is getting. Now we ready. ready. They not ready. Now we ready. They not ready. You next. You next, champ. You 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 next. How you feeling? Um, I mean, I'm excited for what. Is to come. I'm like really looking forward to Anthony and Marvin. Like, I'm thinking that's 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 supposed to be the fight on paper of the night. I'm also looking for Super yeah. Max versus Santiago. He needs that win. Santi does. Santi does. And he Super does. Max is calling a knockout. I don't know. I mean, after he's seen what happened, is he ready for a knockout? Uh oh, looks like we got our ref. Let's see what's going on. What's going on? I, I don't like how the judge is kind of close with the ref. <laughs> that, that discrepancy there? Nah, just helping out. This is just helping out. Oh, is this that kind of group? Okay. Yeah. So we're just waiting here, man, for them to start. Looks like we're going to have Ricky Swift Davis versus Donnell. I'll fight anyone Fernandez. I'm actually being told he's the fifth fight, so it's looking like it's going to be Colin the Destroyer versus Boxing Therapy. Is Fern in the corner? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We need to get this thing started, man. We got people ready to go. Yeah, man. Because we got his audio. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Yo, what you think the intermission's like? Like, every fight, what's the intermission like? What's the intermission? What do you mean? Like, like how long are we waiting in between fights? How well, much time? you know, like you just said, the judge is multitasking, and so is the referee. Yeah. You know, usually there's a referee to fit the referee. Next fight, you need to get ready now. Definitely. 
Definitely, definitely. Uh, we need to take control of this event. Coach Mitty just made the announcement. If you're fighting next to get ready. Yes. Yo, I'm, 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 I'm sad, man. I don't know. I don't know. We need to see who's the judges' scorecards. Can we, since we got Tom, who, where's the judges' scorecards? We had judge number one, that was me, 29-29, the draw. Oh, he scored judge in the draw. Judge number two, 29-29, the draw. Oh. And judge number three, that was Kels. And Kels scored at 27-30 to Bola de Grassa. Wow. wow. Three runs to Bola, Bola de Grassa. Wow, wow. He, he, wow. Had, he was so, in another corner. So for, for the Dr. Mofongo fans need to be thanking Mitty and Nigel. Nigel. That was a good fight, though. He kept busy. It was. It was. You know. And he kept his. He was again, a patient fighter. I had Bola de Grassa winning the first round. Mofongo came in the second, put the pressure, took the second round, and that third one was a pick him, pick them round like 10-10. Mm. Right. They both went for it. So. But yeah. they both took they took the first half of that round off. Yeah, that's what. Nothing yeah. much happened, but like I mean, the skills was on the uh, on the side of Bola de Grassa, but. You know, the strategy and the thinking was on the side of yeah. uh, Mofongo. So. Mofongo was doing a lot so of thinking. how long that's... do we have before we get these fighters? Well. Oh, next fighters are there. Like, maybe we should get an interview with us. Doomsday? I mean, a bola de grasa. Yo, gra grab that mic for us. All right, so Bola de Grasa is stepping up here. He, yeah, we're he, gonna we're gonna go ahead and conduct the post fight interview while fought. we're waiting for the next fight he to get fought. ready. Congratulations! Sit down. I see like you're doing something in, in your mouth. How do, how do you feel? I'm all right. I feel good, man. I a little disappointed in the draw. But Let him get in a little more. A little disappointed in the draw, but uh, uh, you felt sorry. you won. I I, th I think so. I think so. He caught me good. Maybe that's why they got it a draw because the shots he caught me were pretty telling. Right. Um, but for the most part, I thought it worked the best. I thought I had it, controlled him. I controlled the pace. If you watch his last fight versus this fight, he was going all out in his last fight. This fight, he's fighting at my pace. Right. We saw that. We, yeah. we commented on you controlling yes. the first round especially. Yeah. The second, the third round actually... The first half of it, you took a lot of time I off. Did, Both yeah. you guys did. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't think that you had the tank. Was it your tank that kept you off? Um. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't. Uh, well, you don't. Yeah. I didn't. Uh, I mean, I trained, but I ate too much. Damn. That, that but you well, did lose weight. weight. You said oh, you yeah, lost I some lost, weight. Yeah. I was one two eighty eight when I started camp. Yesterday I weighed in at two twenty six. Wow. Congrats on or that. Or two. I'm, I'm sorry. Two sixty one. Two sixty one. Listen, we're gonna pick this up. Uh, we got the next fight. Yeah, but yeah, thank yeah. you. Man. Yes, sir. Thank you. We'll get back with you for sure. We'll make sure that you get your post fight interview. We definitely want to talk to you about uh, everything that was, you know, preparing for this and actually being in the ring with Doctor Mofongo. Mofongo uh, is now one and zero with a draw. Uh, Wilder style and uh, Eddie Bola de Grasa 0 and 0 and 1. Um, I mean, listen, better a draw than a loss. He's fighting out of Michigan. Make your way to the ring. Okay, I mean, boxing somebody therapy. need to tell that ref. He don't need to yell. That's what the mic for. Uh -oh. I mean, oh, father dad, and son. Dad, oh. father and son. Oh, man. Okay, father it's and son. Fast too furious. Let's All right, go. we're going to be calling in the opponent. Mr. Colin, fighting out of San Francisco, the Bay. Make your way to the ring. <laughs> oh, no shirt. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Um, boxing chest therapy status. looking small. Boxing therapy. Looking small, yes. Um, Colin looking real tall. Colin looking tall, but, you know, I don't know what that means. For It's the inside versus outside. That's what it means. Yeah. But, but what, is, what does that mean for Colin? Does he have I mean, the he's going to have the height and the reach advantage, right? But what about when he's too close, when, when boxing therapy is too close to him? Oh, yo, that's sparring headgear, too. I ain't even going to say nothing because I'm an announcer today. I ain't part yeah. of the commission. But therapy being protected with that headgear, that's sparring headgear. Maybe it was his dad's suggestion? Nah, I think, uh, I don't know. Maybe he did buy that. Maybe he did buy that. He was. He did say he, he was going to Everlast shop, but he got Everlast everything. All right, center well, of the ring. Colin, make your way to the center of the ring, please. The line? Yo, y'all gotta set these cameras up better, bro. Come up here. Come up here. Come Yo, up here. The, lo the cameras are moving now. Get your ass <laughs> up. Zoomed it better, man. Come on. Who's the line? I'm used to the center of the ring. Who's Shit. The line? 
the fuck? You know what I'm saying? The fuck? All right, guys. He's forgetting this is an amateur look at fight. The camera. Don't mind him, all right? I'm the one with the camera problems. All right, fighters. I went over the rules, okay? Amateur style rules. What's up with this all right? guy? Punch above he the belt line. Do not. The fight. All right, for a second, think I'm not going to step Something. in if you take more than six unanswered punches, all right? Even if you're blocking, he's, him, I got to step contra- in. He's contradicting himself. Because right? uh, I think Chris landed like 19 punch. Touch gloves. <laughs> he didn't do anything. Clean. I'm sorry, Greg Morgan oh. received like 18 punches from the genius. Damn. <laughs> Something like that, you know? <laughs> Oh man, we here, baby. We here. Boxing therapy. Colin the Destroyer. The size, mm-hmm. height advantage is, is okay. Is, oh man, oh. oh man. Colin looking tough. Colin looking but let's tough. See, let's is see. Is he Irish? He, let's see if he's regular the white jab. boy though. Is he regular white boy though? Let's see. Is, or is he Caleb Plant? Yeah, is he Caleb? <laughs> is he Caleb Plant or is he Mike Lee? <laughs> Let's see. At least he's not Ooh. just. At least he's just not just using, using his size he's to like using his take height, advantage, though. though. At least he's not using his size to take advantage. But I think he's picking his shots. He's he looking is. for the shot. He got Reyes gloves on too, right? Are those Reyes? Look like punches gloves there. It says power on the wrist. Okay, well he want to go with. Po- oh, oh, boxing therapy again. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Just like that, baby. Just see, like that. boxing therapy's not trying to work his way inside. He's just staying on the outside. He's staying in the oh. range. I like that therapy's trying to use the jab to the body, though. Ooh. Oh, oh, there you go. Inside is where he has to let That's go. That's exactly how you do it. That's exactly what he needs to do. Clinch on the inside, smother the taller man's punches. But he should let go, though. I like what I see from uh, therapy. We got one minute left. Uh, so, oh, oh, caught oh, him twice. Oh, 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 there you go. Referee got in my view. Mine, too. Impairing the vision. Mm. Good punching from therapy. Let's see what Colin does. Colin's right in his face. Yeah, he's in his face. Definitely in his face. He's not jabbing enough. Ooh. Chip, 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 chip. You ever heard of that? No, nah, I never chip. heard of that. Chip. Was that the father? No, that was uh, the ref. Oh. Chip, chip, chip. Never heard of the chip. No. Ooh, okay, <laughs> the jabs. Ooh, turned his back. That's okay. Colin with the box, raw shorts. Oh, 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 little Mike Tyson on him. Oh, oh, wow. oh, oh, holding. That was a little bit of holding. Man, okay. that was a big, big right hand there by uh, therapy. Thera- Shit. Therapy looking like he gassed out. He's opening his mouth, his head, his chin. He's holding his chin. That worries me. But he does throw his punches um, when. I mean, he's letting that right hand go. Yeah. He's not afraid. Nine seconds to go. Oh, two piece. There you go. He's pulling him close. That He got a punch on the inside. Good round. Now that's a hard one to score. It is. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Colin though. Colin. I think he did more work. Colin looked more um, composed. Even though more. I like I like Therapy's right hand more than Colin's. Right. But Colin landed his punches more than Therapy. But Colin also Therapy also landed some heavy of the heavy punches. Of all, they might have been like three or four of them. That he so made. you feel that the punches were heavier? I don't, I don't know. It's how the referee, the, how the judges score. You I know? mean, we ain't asking the judge. We talking about you and me. How you? I, I'm thinking the heavy are more effective than the punching. So you, you know? saying you wouldn't want to be Colin receiving them shots? I would You'd rather be boxing therapy throwing them. I think that's the Max Kellerman. That is the Max Kellerman, but I always think that the power punches that are clean neutralizes the fighter. So let's see how Collins now responds. Let's see Therapy's tank. I seen towards the end of the fight, uh, first round, he was kind of pushing his mouthpiece out. Yeah, I saw that too. And he's still fighting with his mouth open. He mouth. needs to use the ring because Collins is a plotter. You see that Collins isn't really, yeah, Colin's, you know, cutting the ring off. He's following. Yeah. Well, both of them look relaxed, but Colin is the relaxest nessness. He's using the ring, so he's using this. He's taking this round off. He's gonna use the ring to get the energy back. Which, oh, oh, nice pot shot. That's how you do it. There you go. Oh, pick your spots. Oh, it looks. Oh, they're going at it. They're oh shit. You know what it is? Colin is a bigger puncher. Oh, therapy. I, I think Colin's nose just. Therapy got has to do more of what he's doing. He's got a box from the outside. You can't brawl with this guy. This guy's too big for you. But he's got to let go more And he's made the weight. He's made the weight, so he can't even be, you know, he can't complain. He's got to let go more than one punch. See, he can't, he's, he's also bracing himself. Colin, is, when Colin comes towards boxing therapy, boxing therapy braces himself. Therapy needs to believe in his punches just a little bit more if he wants to win this. He's doing the Danny Garcia, like going down and swinging. He's got his head down too low, and that's when Colin's getting those free shots off, man. 
get starting to become consistent. Yeah. There, there you go. The again. Uppercut. Yeah. Those are going to start to affect. Now gonna Colin's going to throw some uppercut. Who got a warning? Out. I heard something about a warning. Therapy got a warning for what? Okay, therapy is out of tank. He, he's getting a warning for what? Oh, 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 so Colin. Colin might get a point deducted for pushing the head down. Therapy definitely took this round off. Ooh, therapy needs to. Yo, Colin is not accurate. He's missing that right hand a lot. It's slow, too. Therapy is seeing it. He's just not countering. He's, he'd rather get out the way than land something. You know what I mean? Okay, now they're playing. Damn. One minute. They need to start breathing in. Whoa, there's blood on the trunks of Colin. I think it's Colin's blood, though. What are your thoughts? Therapy needs to get his, his headgear off. He's, he's, he's hot. Nah, he, don't, he can't take it off. That's a disqualification. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, I'm going to just go ahead and say, this fight doesn't have the excitement of the last two. No, the last two fights this, were very exciting. This is a bit of a, I expected a energy more from, dump. I, I expected more from Colin. I did. The destroyer, he ain't destroying shit. I was expecting like a lot of long reaching jabs. jabs. I, I was just expecting a better one, two, maybe the one, two, three. See, listen, that's what the one, two, three is for. You shoot the one, two. You see the therapy is ducking. The three is it's the, the body shot. The or the hook. body shot. You know, the hook to the body, the hook to the head because he bent down. But like he's not doing it. He's doing one, two, clinch. I mean, this looks like uh, Madonna, Devin Alexander. Here we go. Let's go. Cheers let's go. Out let's the go. Corner. What do we got? What do we got? Let's go! Final round of fight number three. Mm-hmm. All right, Colin, Colin coming out. Colin versus boxing Colin therapy. Colin coming out with a little more energy now. Now Colin's cutting the ring off. You see, Colin? Oh, there you go. Damn. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. In his grill. Keep him up. Is the tank, man. The tank makes the cowards difference. out of men. The tank just makes you fall back. Oh, and Colin has the bigger tank, but oh, there but you go. Therapy. You gotta fight back. You gotta fight back. You gotta be a dog in this sport. You can't sit around letting a man just hit on you. You gotta bite down and fight back. A little more excitement. And let me tell you, Colin round. is a destroyer, but he doesn't like to be punched. When therapy hits him, he clinches, man. Yeah. Therapy needs to let his hands go more. He's finally cutting the ring as well. Oh, there, there you, you go. go. Therapy's a bleeder. Oh. Colin. Colin's a bleeder. Oh. Overhand right, Dumi. Dumi don't want to give away any more eight counts. He's trying to be fair. He's trying to therapy's, be fair. He's fair, but he's firm. Therapy's done, therapy's but so is Colin. They're both tired. Yeah, Colin's just stopped. Co Colin's tired. Fifty-four seconds left on the clock. Colin's tired. He should just go at it right now. Colin is tired right now. Oh man, and Dumi's helping him out. Therapy. There you go. Therapy needs to go big if he wants this. Can't leave it on the hands of the judges. Therapy, let it all loose. Oh, oh my go. God, you heard him. He, oh, oh, he's hurt. Oh, 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 oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 Holy shit. On? Bell ring. Oh, oh, shit. What a good Holy round. Holy shit. We need a close-up of that man. <laughs> he took his headgear off, bro. He knocked his headgear off. Look, the chin strap is Wait. under his nose. Wait, is this the second round? Holy shit. That's only the second round? Third oh, round. That's what I Third thought. round. <laughs> wow. Whoa, pandemonium, hey, good just, fight. <laughs> just when we thought that this fight wasn't delivering. It was pain. It, it was patience. It delivered. Some of those, some of those fights, you gotta, you gotta just wait on it. Yo. <laughs> oh, my God, look at Colin. Holy He's shit. He's got the blood work. <laughs> Yo, get the fucking BTS shots. Whoa. <laughs> Holy smokes, that was Bloody good Border Wars. Bloody Border Super Wars. Max Super Max versus Santiago's next. When I say I promise, I promise you. I promise you pain and blood. Mm. How? I'm going to let this. Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo. Shit got crazy real quick. Real quick. Yo. Hey, Move this right here. I'm, I'm burning up. Damn. Yo. 
video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon dot com backslash the box enforcement tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace